Hello, good evening, dear class. How are you tonight? How are you tonight? I'm fine, teacher. Nice, nice. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. Hello, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. I hope everybody is okay tonight. Hello, good evening, welcome. Good evening, teacher. Hi. Okay, my dear people, tonight we are going to continue with our, um, our topic, what's the matter? Remember, vamos a hacer un pequeño feedback, right? Vamos a hacer un pequeño feedback de lo que hemos visto, right? de lo que hemos visto. Y vamos a comenzar now, right? ¿Se acuerdan de la conversacioncita? Eh, mm, no, what's the matter? What's the matter? Right? ¿Qué te sucede? ¿Qué pasa contigo? ¿Qué tienes o cómo te sientes? How do you feel? Remember? Okay. Yes, mm -hmm. Vamos a ver entonces. Uh, we are going to start by that tonight. All right. Just as a manner of feedback. All right. Allow me just one moment. And here we go. I think this one is. Let us share. <clears throat> Let's remember that the hmm, the question that you can make to know how people feel could be different in three manners. Puede ser de tres maneras diferentes, ¿verdad? Pueden ser tres tipos de preguntas y la información que siempre va a pedir es la misma, ¿verdad? Es la misma. Podemos decir, what's the matter? Okay, what's the matter? Podemos decir también, a ver, what's wrong? Podemos decir, how do you feel? Y también, how are you feeling? Okay, how are you feeling? Podemos decirla de cualquier forma y siempre la respuesta va a ser relacionada a esto, ¿verdad? Okay. Bien, vamos a ver entonces que habían dos verbos. Tenemos el verbo have y el verbo feel para poder contestar, ¿verdad? Para poder contestar. Entonces, por ejemplo, decimos I have y usamos un noun, right? I have a headache. I have a fever, right? I have a broken bone. Yeah. I have a toothache. Tengo un dolor de dientes o de muelas, right? I have a toothache. Uh, I have a backache. Oh, backache. I'm really tired, right? I have a pain in my neck. <laughs> yeah. Ese ya es una um, expresión. Esa es una expresión. You're a pain in my neck, right? To de plano que aquí te tengo en la nuca. Eh. Ya me duele. Eso es pain in my neck, okay? Ajá, es como una expresión, ¿verdad? Decirle a alguien. Vaya, vamos a ver entonces. Teníamos have y teníamos feel. Feel lo usamos with adjectives. For example, we say, I feel great. I feel fine. I feel terrific. De una manera que, que estoy bien, ¿verdad? Ahora, si yo no estoy bien, si yo no estoy bien, voy a responder, I feel bad. Y todavía más que mal, I feel awful. I feel awful. All right. ¿Qué más podemos decir si yo me siento mal? A ver. I feel. Terrible. 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 Yeah. Ok, bien. Entonces, yo le voy a preguntar. Melissa, how do you feel today? I feel good. Nice. 
Yamile Geraldina, how do you feel today? Oh, she's not there. All right. Cristina Claribel, how do you feel tonight? I feel uh, fantastic. Great. How do you feel, Carlos Antonio? I feel, I feel mm -hmm. fine. Fine. fine, all right. Podemos fine. usar todos estos adjetivos, ya sea si nos sentimos bien o todos estos otros adjetivos si nos sentimos mal, ¿verdad? Vaya, vamos a ver. Isaura, how do you feel tonight? I feel tip top shape. Yay, nice, nice. All right, how do you feel tonight, Blanca? I feel very fine. Nice, nice. Uh -huh. Igual podemos contestar con estos, digamos, great, fine, terrific, fantastic, good. Lo podemos cuando nos preguntan, eh, how do you do? <clears throat> o how are you doing tonight? También podemos usar estos adjetivos si me siento bien. Y si me siento mal, yo puedo decir así ah, también, ¿verdad? Directo, si queremos decirlo. Usualmente siempre queremos parecer positivos y que todo está bien, ¿verdad? Pero ok. Yeah. All right. Bien. Vamos a ver entonces que habían different diseases or different pains. Teníamos ache, teníamos pain, right? Headache, backache, stomachache, pain. Esta enfermedad que se llama the flu, como la gripe, ¿verdad? Measles, como las sarampión, todos ronchudos, ¿verdad? Cuando se quiebra un hueso uno, ¿verdad? A broken bone, a broken bone. Bone es hueso, and broken es quebrado, ¿ok? Vamos a ver, fever, fever. I have a fever, right? I have COVID, I have COVID, I don't have COVID, I don't have a fever, I don't have measles, I don't have the flu, I don't have any pain, I don't have a stomachache. También lo podemos usar en negativo, ¿verdad? Lo podemos usar en negativo. Okay, tenemos estos verbos. We have these verbs, right? Como para describir lo que sentimos, okay? to describe what we feel with the diseases or the illness, right? For example, it hurts. It hurts, me duele, me molesta, me lastima. It hurts, it hurts. It puede ser, my head hurts, my foot hurts, my finger hurts, my eyes, hurt, ok, si decimos una cosa sería hurt, si decimos dos cosas o plural ya le quitamos la letra S, verdad, sería por ejemplo, all my fingers, they are five, they hurt, ok, ahí recordamos la tercera persona, verdad, it swells, it swells, my throat swells, se me inflama la garganta, it swells, inflama, se hincha, ¿verdad? se pone gordo ahí. My feet swell, my feet swell, right, se me hinchan los pies. When I'm pregnant, my feet swell, all right. Mm -hmm. It itches, oh, with this missiles, oh, it itches, it itch, itches, right? Me pica, yeah, es so sick, it pica. It burns, it burns, ah, me arde, me siento que me quema, right? It burns, me arde. Vemos que hay diferentes verbos para expresar los diferentes dolores, ¿verdad? Ajá, también el grado es... Es importante si le, le duele, eh, así como hard, bien fuerte, strong pain, fuerte, ok, or just, um, eh, it's a small pain, it's a small pain, right? Bien, vamos a ver entonces ahorita por acá, recordar un poquito el vocabulario, ok, 
Y vamos a encontrar en esta sopa de letras estas enfermedades. All right. This problem, this health problems. All right. Now me too. A ver, entremos todos a la, a la pantalla, please, with the annotation option. Yes, and let's try to do it. Number one, measles. Where is the word measles? Where is the word measles? Uh -huh. Busquemos por acá, measles. <laughs> Andan por todos lados. Busquemos, busquemos las palabras, everybody. De último está, teacher, en la segunda línea. Ok, Melissa puede entrar a la pantalla donde dice annotation o está el lapicito. Usted le pucha ahí y usted ya puede rayar. Ah, ok, ok. Uh -huh. Thank you. Ok. Vamos todos, everybody. ¿Pudimos entrar todos? ¿Se va a llevar en orden, teacher, o podemos ir buscando en todas? Ah, la que encontró. Ahorita. Yo digo que la que encontró. Ajá. Yo no puedo. Excelente, excelente. Yo digo que disfruten y diviértanse, right? Enjoy and have fun. ¿Quién no pudo? A ver. Yo. <risa> Yo es... Alexandra. Alexandra, all right, all right. Alexandra, mire, Ahí donde dice annotation o anotación, ahí es donde usted va a puchar y le va a poner el lapicito, ¿verdad? Ya con el lapicito ya puede escribir. ¿Está en, en computadora o está en teléfono? Ya, ya lo encontré, teacher. Yeah. All right, all right. There Thank you. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cut. Cut es también herirse, ¿verdad? Una cortada. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, sneeze is when you ah uh, chew. That's sneeze. Uh huh. Eric, Eric, dolor de oído, verdad? A sneeze is a stornudo, teacher. Yes, it is. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. A ver cuál nos falta. Which one? Cough is. <coughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. A ver, a ver, which one is missing? Yeah, headache, headache. Mm -hmm. Very good, Josia. Uh -huh. Bye. Ahora vamos a poner el número, the number in each picture. Let's number each picture. Okay, let's match the picture with the number. A ver, eh, eso sí, quizás lo vamos a hacer por nombre. Vamos a ver, Isaura, number one. Eh, Emilio, number two. Eh, Blanca, number three. Póngame esos tres ahorita, vamos a ver. 
Isaura, what's number one, the picture? Number two, Emilio. And number three, eh, Blanca, right? Vale, pongámoslos ahorita en el círculo, in the circle. Right, good. Mm -hmm. Number one is missile. Hey, yay, there you go. Uh -huh. Emilio, number two, and Blanca, number three. Vamos, Merin, Daniela, number four. Alexis goes number five. And Suleima, number six, right? Number six. Ponga el numerito a la que corresponde, okay? To the picture. Carlos Antonio, number seven. Melissa, number eight. Norma Elizabeth, if you can participate, number nine. All right. And let's see, Veronica. Are you available, Veronica, Stephanie? Number 10, Veronica. Okay, Georgina, number 11. Vayan poniéndome en el círculo. Yeah. Hey, there you go, number 13. Who wrote number 13? I didn't get it. All right. Uh -huh. Ya me pusieron los numeritos. No veo los numeritos. Vamos a ver, solo tenemos cough. Uh -huh. Tenemos eric very good uh-huh yes fever or temperature uh-huh yes a broken but this is broken arm right this is broken arm broken leg broken leg yeah teacher se puede ver el tres así como lo tengo number three i can see yes number three yes we can see it Yes, thank you very much. Vamos, vamos. Uh -huh. Teacher, yo escribí, pero no lo veo. El número. Eh, solo que le dé enter. Vamos a ver, ¿cuál me escribió usted? A ver, sería el número cuál? Porque para El número six. Le escribí el número six. Ah, pero sí pero... se ve. Sí se ve acá. Six. Ok. Uh -huh. A sore throat, right? Teacher, may I go pero... to the rest of this? All right, no problem, no problem, go ahead. All right, uh, number six, creo que es headache, right? Headache. I think it is headache. <gasps> I'm so sorry, guys, I'm so sorry. Okay, vamos a ver, uh -huh. Bye. ahora pongamos solo los números, only the numbers, again, please. Para que tengamos orden, porque no miraba los demás por los demás, eh, vamos a ver, eh, rayas. Ok, ajá, only the numbers. Stomachic, yeah. Ajá, this one, este era el de Isaura, Isaura vuelva a ponerlo, please. Hello, Nelson, tell me. Nelson? Levantó la mano, Nelson? Teacher, él está en el trabajo, según puso en el grupo, que solo oh. va a estar oyente. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. But... Sí, así es, teacher. Discúlpeme, pero estoy un poquito ocupado, pero sí estoy escuchándolos. All right, es que se subió la mano por eso, pero ahorita bajamos la mano. All right, there okay, you go. Ya la voy a bajar, ya la bajo. I did it, I did it already. Don't worry. All right, so yes. Vamos, solo los números, solo los números. Everybody, only the numbers. El 39 me han puesto aquí, ve. No hay 39. <laughs> sneeze sería el number three. Ok, sneeze. Yes, yes, uh -huh. yo puse el tres, pero no sé quién puso el nueve. Ah, uh, ok, ok, no problem. Bye, aquí no es number nine. Rani knows will be this one. Yeah, Rani knows. Este sería el nueve. Miren, Rani knows que anda mocoso y, se, y anda chupando jutes, decimos en español. Teacher, <laughs> yeah. yo puse el quince. 
15, 15, 15. Where is the 15? I can't see Dizzy. the number 15. Oh, yeah, I saw it. Dizzy. Teacher, yo puse el 14. All right, then 14. Aha, uh -huh, caught. Yes, correct. Mm -hmm. Let's look yo at... Yo puse el 5, teacher. Number 5. Hey, in English. The numbers in English, guys. El 5. Aha, uh -huh, number, number 5. five. Number five, too thick. Yes, too thick. Mm -hmm. Dolor de muela o dientes. Y este que sería? This one. What do you think this is? Decíamos resfriado, right? Like this one, right? Cold. Cold. Mm -hmm. Cold. Uh -huh. Ah, miren, the five is not this one. Number five is not this one. It's this one. Look, look. too thick. Mm -hmm. Too thick este. Este es cuff. Yeah, este es cuff. Number four is cuff, I think. Right? Okay, Vamos bien? Teacher. All right. Mm -hmm. Too thick sería por acá, number five. Yeah. Este es broken leg. Broken leg will be number 10. 10. Yes. And this one is cough. Cough is number four. Yes. And this one, this one, this one is okay. This one is okay. This one is okay. All right. I think we, we, we finished, right? We finished. The Eric. All right, I think we finished. Entonces, ¿cuál es la estructura? I have an earache. I, este sneeze es de una sola vez eh, el verbo, ok? I sneeze. I, I sneeze es yo estornudo, eh? yo estornudo. Uh -huh. Aquí sí, I have a cough. I have a cough. Hmm? I have a toothache, I have a headache, I have a sore throat, I have a broken arm, I have a runny nose, I have a broken leg, I have a stomachache, I have a cold, I have a fever, I have a cough. I, I feel dizzy, I feel dizzy, aquí no es I have, aquí es I feel dizzy, all right? ¿Estamos bien hasta ahí? Yes, teacher. All right. Yes, All teacher. Right. Ahora, what medicines, what medicines do we take, right? These are like uh, common medicines, right? What do you take if you have a headache? What do you take if you have a headache? What medicine you take? Aspirin. No. <laughs> yeah. Right. Aspirin, acetaminophen. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Spirit. Okay. Ibuprofen. I. Uh, is this ibuprofen? Ibuprofen. 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 Okay. Ibuprofen. Yeah. Oh, Tylenol. La marca. Eh? Tylenol. It's really, what do I take? What do you take if you have a stomach ache? Pecto bismol. <laughs> right, <laughs> Pepto. Yes, Pepto. Uh -huh. What else can you take? For example, depende de qué es lo que sentimos. Because if it is a pain, you have, uh, your stomach is swell, right? But if you feel, mm, like burns or, or acidez, right? Also, sería como que An, antiacid, right? Antiacid, right? Antiacid. All right. Mm -hmm. If, okay, todos los que quitan el dolor se llaman painkillers, okay? Painkillers. Voy a ponerlo en el chat. Painkillers. Right. 
Y hay personas que son adictas a eso, ¿verdad? Entonces hay que tener mucho cuidado nosotros. Do not take too much pain killers. Hay que aguantarse un cachito. No, porque se sube la presión, teacher, y eso. O sea, yeah. <laughs> hay gente que no aguanta un dolorcito, right? Okay. Allow me to use the chat here. Don't find the chat. Yeah, here it is. Es que fíjense que esta máquina es siempre la misma que les digo que tiene la, el problema de la pantalla, pero hasta el día viernes la van a ver. So I'm fighting with my computer. All right. Vamos entonces. En el chat, el chat, hey, ya lo había abierto. ¿Qué pasó? I open the chat. I open the chat. Yeah, aspirin is a good word to, I mean, a, a, a good medicine for pain, right? Headache, headache also. Eh, y el malestar, digamos, han oído que la gente dice caimiento, vea. <laughs> and you take an aspirin, then you feel better, right? Ajá, eh, sí, no, definitivamente no sé qué pasa y no lo puedo desplegar. El chat. Ahí los estoy viendo que tengo, hoy sí, no. A ver. Ok, hoy sí, aspirin, yes, aspirin. I'm sorry, Veronica, your number was the last one, if I don't remember back, if I don't remember wrong. All right, ajá, uh -huh. vaya, entonces, what... Do you take if you have a headache? Headache. Okay. Esa sería la pregunta base para cualquier dolor. A ver, todos, con todos los dolores y enfermedades, haciendo la pregunta. What do you take if? Y ponen ustedes la siguiente oración. Right? Everybody. Cualquier dolor. What do you take if you have a cold? Right? Vamos todos haciendo eh, esas preguntas de todo. No importa que repitan uno con el otro. What do you take? Solo la pregunta, ¿ok? What do you take if you have a backache. Yes, if you have the flu, the flu, as it didn't give her the, okay. What do you take if you have a backache? What do you take? Yeah, what do you take? Thank you, Edwin. Very good question. What do you take if you have COVID? Mm -hmm. Ahí COVID no lleva A, ah, porque oh, es sorry, el nombre teacher. ya propio, okay. ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Okay. There you go. What do you take if you have a fever? Yeah, good question. What do you take if you have a cold? Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Vaya, muy bien. Very good. Very good. A ver, what do you get? Okay. Or what do you uh, apply if you have a backache? If you have a backache, I rub, I rub mm -hmm. muscle cream, right? Muscle cream. A ver, muscle is like this. Muscle cream. Muscle se dice músculo, ¿ya? Yeah? Crema para los músculos es muscle cream. También se les llama ice, ice, no, ice cream no, porque ice cream es el sorbete, right? Ice or cold cream. Yeah. Yeah. 
like menthol cream. What do you take if you have? Okay, if ahí tendría que ser así, mire. What do you take if it hurts? All right, Hurt, hurts. Así, la voy a escribir acá. What do you take if it hurts? What do you take if it hurts? Aha, uh -huh. what do you take if you have a sore throat? A sore throat. Uh -huh. Okay, what do you do if you have monkeypox? I visit the doctor. Yeah, I visit the doctor with any measles. Con cualquier roncherito, vea, iríamos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what do you take if you have a, a yeah, sore eyes, sore eyes, mm -hmm. or swell eyes, okay? Swollen, swollen sería hinchado, okay? Así, miren, swollen, swollen es hinchado. Mm -hmm. Swell es el verbo, yeah? Hinchado sería como el adjetivo, yeah? What? Oh, if you have, if you have what? <laughs> keto. I will take keto. <laughs> That's a good question and very funny, Alexis. Ah, uh, no, it was not Alexis. It was Josia, <laughs> Alexio Mar. Yeah. Okay. Acordémonos que decimos have a toothache. Have a headache, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you take if you have a broken bone? Diclofenac. Yeah, diclofenac, yeah. What do you take if you have a fever? What do you take if you have a fever, guys? Acetaminophen, right? Acetaminophen. Yes. All right. Yeah. Uh -huh. Y... Yeah. Yo digo viro. <laughs> <laughs> All right. PH. Remember, fen para las medicinas, esa terminación fen con PH, right? Fen, ibuprofen, and all the fens. Yeah. There you go. All right, people, let's go to the next topic. Let's go to the next topic. The next, next topic is that we are going to the section three, right? We are going to the section three. And the section three. Mm, one second. Uh -huh. The section three is called You Can't Miss It. You Can't Miss It. Yeah, here it is. You can't miss it. You can't miss it. Esto significa no vas a perderlo. O sea, no puedes pasarlo por alto. Vas a encontrarlo, okay? You are going to find that. You can't miss it is para locations and directions of places, okay? Of places in the city. Entonces, comencemos con vocabulary, all right? Vocabulary. The vocabulary to give directions or ask for directions and also locations, we want to know the places in the city, right? Places in the city. And also things or products, right? Things or products we need or we buy, okay? A ver, entonces, podríamos decir, yeah? La primera cosa es para comprar, to buy. To do a purchase, para comprar también, okay? Hay diferentes verbos para nombrar compras o para nombrar esa actividad, comprar. What does buy mean? What does buy mean? ¿Qué significa buy? A ver. Comprar. 
comprar. Ok, vamos a tratar de definirlo en English, right? Comprar. And what is to buy? What is to buy? It's, a ver, ¿quién me lo quiere It's, leer acá? To get some things by buying for it. Yes, ahora voy a volver a hacer la pregunta. Josia, what does buy mean? Uh, ¿Qué significa comprar? You read this concept. Buy. 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 Uh -huh. No entendí la pregunta. Bye. What does buy mean? Significa, ¿qué significa comprar? Oh. Okay. Then you read the concept. To get oh. something by paying for it, to exchange money for goods or service. Very good. Those are the concepts of purchase and buy purchase and buy. Ok, pero entonces, bye. miren, yo lo que quiero que veamos ahorita es que cuando nos preguntan qué significa algo, no lo traduzcamos, ok? No vamos a traducir, lo vamos a definir en inglés, ok? <coughs> y este es un ejercicio que pueden seguir haciendo con el demás vocabulario, ok? No lo traduzcan. Vamos a buscar synonyms, ¿ok? Como en esta columna. We have synonyms of buy and purchase, ¿ok? Y esto nos va a ir dando la idea, porque incluso en español así hacemos, ¿verdad? Cuando nos preguntan, mira, ¿y qué significa honesto vos? ¿Honesto qué significa? Ay, qué difícil definir honestidad o ser honesto, ¿verdad? Entonces, ¿qué hacemos? Buscamos sinónimos, ¿verdad? Ah, ¿qué dice la verdad? Ah, que no roba. Ah, no, ese es honrado, ¿verdad? Ah, no, espérame. Entonces empezamos a buscar synonyms, sinónimos. So the same strategy is in English, ¿ok? Vamos a usar la misma estrategia en inglés para adquirir más vocabulario, ¿ok? Entonces, we have two verbs here. Purchase and buy. Purchase and buy, all right? Purchase también significa comprar, ¿ya? Yeah? Y se usa más que todo en los ambientes laborales, ¿verdad? The company is always doing purchases, right? Or making purchases. Vamos a ver, buy. You buy everything, okay? You buy everything that can be sold, right? Algo que lo venden, se compra, ¿ya? Yeah? So that's buy. What does buy mean? What does buy mean? It means to obtain. It means to acquire. It means to get, right? It means to grab, grab, agarrar, okay? Bien, entonces, cualquiera de estos son un sinónimo de buy y de purchase, okay? Synonyms, obtain, acquire, get, and grab. A ver, leámoslos todos, aunque suene como el mercado central, central market here. Open your microphones. Very good. Uh -huh. Very good. Obtain, obtener, ¿verdad? No queremos traducir, pero hay que hacerlo ahorita. Acquire, adquirir. Get es conseguir, and grab es como agarrar, ¿ya? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Por eso han oído ustedes que algunos de sus parientes cuando vienen de los Estados Unidos, ¿verdad? Ellos dicen, ay, tengo que agarrar una computadora, dicen. Ah, tengo que agarrar tal cosa. ¿Por qué se usa ese verbo? Grab, grab, ¿ok? Yeah. Ajá. Por ejemplo, we need milk. I have to grab some milk. Grab es como en el camino, o sea, yo vengo del trabajo, I have to grab some milk, all right? Entonces voy a pasar en el camino al supermarket, okay? Then I use grab. Okay, cualquiera de estos significa esto, to get something by paying for it. A ver, what does buy mean? To get, to get something, something by, by paying for it. Something by 
praying for it. Okay, another Good. concept Good. is. Good. Yes, another concept is what does by mean? To exchange money. For goods or good. service. Or services. Or service. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. Okay. Entonces, ¿qué es lo que compramos? Things. Lo, esas things, cosas, serían goods or services. Bienes o servicios. Goods or services. Okay. What do we exchange? Money. And El Salvador, what's the currency we use to buy? What is the currency? ¿Cuál es la moneda que usamos para comprar? What is the currency? Dollar. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Pero ¿cuál es la official currency? Colón. Yeah, uh huh. If you Google it, if you Google it, you can Google uh, El Salvador's currency. A ver, que pueda googlear, ponga El Salvador's currency. Uh -huh. Y vamos a ver qué le aparece. What does it show? Colón salvadoreño. All right, and. Dollar estadounidense. Yeah, uh -huh. and Bitcoin. Bitcoin. Yay. Now we have three different currencies, right? Three different currencies. So we exchange what is money, right? What is money? In El Salvador, we use dollars. We use, well, we are supposed to use Bitcoin. We are supposed to use Colón, even though that's only as a reference now, right? Because we don't have colones. We don't have colones anymore. But we have dollars, all right? We have dollars. That's the main currency or the la principal, right? So to exchange money. Very good. Mm -hmm. Vamos a ver entonces. Uh, las cosas que serían goods or services, ¿ok? Goods or services. A ver, ¿alguien me puede decir qué compramos? Things and, uh, and services. A ver, ¿qué compramos? What do we buy? What do you buy? Shoes. Water. Shoes. Meat. Shoes. Uh, mm -hmm. Internet service. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The water services. Water. Service. All right. Very good. Mm -hmm. Electricity. Fast, fast food. Medicine. Fast food. <laughs> I'm sorry. Food. Food. Medicines. Medicines. Uh huh. Medicine. Uh -huh. Again. Gas. Oh, oh gasoline. Gasoline. Gas. gasoline. Yes. Uh huh. That's the part. Course. Course. Course of technology or the computer or the English it is very common. Oh, Furniture. yeah, education services, right? Educational services, courses, yeah. Okay, uh -huh. For professional development, right? Mm -hmm. What yeah. else, Daniela? Furniture. Furniture, yes. Do you buy houses? In 25 years, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, okay, this is the idea. Okay, this is the idea. I want to explain something, all right? I want to explain something. En English, cuando nosotros decimos, um, what do, I mean, do you, uh, vamos a poner la que acabo de decir, do you buy, y voy a decir cualquier cosa, ya, yeah? puede referirse a dos cosas, en este contexto que estamos hablando es, do you buy, quiere decir, este you no es usted, ok, sino que es la manera de preguntar en general, se compran casas, 
yeah? Es como una manera general también el significado. For example, if I say, do you buy houses? Yes, yes, right? Yes, we do. Or yes, you do. En ese caso la respuesta, yes, you do. Vamos a ver, uh, do you buy apartments? Yes, you do. Okay, do you buy groceries? Yes, you do. Do you buy cell phones? Yes, you do. Okay, do you buy makeup? Do you buy makeup? Yes, you do. Yes, yes you, you do. do. Very good. Do you buy clothes? Yes, yes you, you do. do. Very yes, good. For Christmas. Oh, yes, for um, Christmas. Negative. Uh -huh. En negativo, ¿cómo sería la respuesta? Así, no, I don't. Ok, o no, you don't. En general, no, you don't. Si se refiere a usted mismo, no, I don't. All right. There you go. Ok. You. Ok. Puede ser you o puede ser I. Depending on the context. All right. Bien. Vamos a ver entonces. The next thing, the next thing over here, it says, podemos preguntar, right? We can ask, we can ask. Okay. Podemos preguntar con what, podemos preguntar con where, podemos preguntar con when, o podemos preguntar how. Okay. What is que, verdad? Una cosa, ya. Yeah? Where is the place, un lugar? When is the time, the time, all right? How is the manner, is the manner? Okay, then demos un ejemplo. What could be a product or a service, right? Where could be a store, a drug store? It could be a book store. It could be, what other place do we have to buy things? Uh -huh. A travel a agency, a mall, yeah, a mall. Mm -hmm. A restaurant, you can buy food, right, in a restaurant. All right, when? At night, in the morning, in the afternoon, right? Or, por ejemplo, when can you buy hojuelas? When can you buy hojuelas? Por ejemplo, las hojuelas solo tienen un tiempo, ¿verdad? In November. Yeah, November the second. Yes, November the second. All right. Entonces, vemos que when es el momento, ¿verdad? Puede ser que el pan, por ejemplo, bread. When can you buy bread in the city? In the morning. And in, in the, the afternoon, right? In the afternoon. Yeah, in the, in the evening. Let's say in the evening for dinner, right? Okay. Then we can say, how can you buy that? Ah, now we can say, you can pay with dollar. You can pay with Bitcoin. You can pay by credit or using your credit card. That's how, right? A debit card. What else can you use uh, to buy things? How? Uh -huh. You can borrow money, right? Uh huh. They can lend you some in a bank. Yeah. If you want to buy a house, for example, how can you buy a house? Uh, you go to the bank and they lend you money, right? To buy the house. Entonces, how is la forma en que vamos a pagar, verdad? How is the way that we are going to pay? Podría ser. También puede ser. How can you buy that, for example, in the amount, la cantidad de cosas, for example, a unit, a dozen, uh, ¿qué otro puede ser? A ver, a pack, a bag, a box, a couple As of. With the liquid, sometimes can be a six pack. A six pack, yeah, a 12 pack, yeah, a bottle, a bottle one bottle, yeah. So you can use any quantifier using how, right? Yeah. So let's continue with this and let's think, what can I 
Uh -huh. What can I? No me sirven ninguna de estas tres, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver. Uh, where can I buy milk? Where can I buy milk? Where can I buy milk? At the supermarket. In the supermarket. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, when can I buy milk? When can I buy milk? Tomorrow. Tomorrow, good. Huh? Because now it's closed. No, it is not. At 10 p.m., they close at, at 10 p.m., yeah? Before 10 p.m. is okay. You can go and buy your milk, right? <laughs> yeah, you're right. Nice, nice answer. All right. The, uh, tell me, Ronan. No sé si va a pasar la asistencia, teacher. I did it already, I think. No, no lo hice. No, teacher. Oh, teacher. Ay, acuérdenme antes, please. Thank you very much. Yes, I have to. I have to do it, all right? I have to do that. It's an, a requirement. Oh, oh sorry. Mm -hmm. Stop sharing. Please, everybody, turn your cameras on and smile. All right? Smile. And say present when you hear your name. All right? Alexandra Patricia Arevalo Reyes. Present, teacher. Okay. Alexis Giovanni Ramos. Present, teacher. Okay. What date is it today, guys? Today is Monday, December the 5th, 2022. The 5th. The 5th. Yeah, very good. Okay. Ana Yamilet Hernandez Martinez. Present teacher. Okay. Blanca Guadalupe Benavides Martinez. I am here, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Carlos Antonio Castro Torres. Present teacher. All right. Cristina Claribel Chavarria de Bonilla. Present teacher. Edwin Alexander Hercules Torres. Present teacher. There you go. Efraín Emilio Acevedo. Georgie. Eh, no está Efraín, yo amo no. Ah, ahí me puso, ¿verdad? En el chat. All right. There you go, Emilio. Thank you. Georgina Concepción Menéndez Echeverría. No está Georgina. Sí, ahí está Georgina. Georgina, are you there? All right. Hilda Beatriz Pineda Leiva. Present teacher. Okay. Isaura Evelia Vázquez de Ponce. Present teacher. Josía Alexiomar Mejía Benavides. Present, present. Ok, Juan Marcelo Flores. Manuel Aristides Cardona Navarro. Present, teacher. Ok, Melissa Cecilia Beltrán Torres. Present, teacher. All right. Merin Daniela Carranza Valencia. Present, teacher. Nelson Adán Cerón Medina. Present, teacher. Norma Elizabeth Callejas López. Present. Ok. Norma Elizabeth Lizano de Quinteros. Present teacher. All right. Oscar Alexander Santana Reyes. Don't see Oscar. Ronald Roberto Torres Villalobos. Present teacher. Bien chévere su nombre para pronunciar la R, mire. Ronald Roberto Torres. Very good. Doble R. <ríe> yeah. Verónica Stephanie Castro Rivera. Present teacher. Ok. Xiomara Natalie Rivera Ríos. Miss Xiomara. Yamilet Geraldina Martínez de García. Present teacher. Ok. Suleima Emperatriz Álvarez de Ramírez. Present teacher. Ok, people, here we go. Ok, I think it is nine already, right? It's nine already. 
me check. Did I have five minutes left? I mean, five minutes left. Didn't I, Mariana Denise? All right, I'm sorry. Let me check, let me check, please. All right, Mariana, good. Tengo un poco perdido. All right. Uh -huh. Bien, regresando a donde podemos comprar las cosas. Yeah, where can we buy some milk? Aprovechemos estos minutitos. Según the recording, I have five minutes left. And according to the time or the clock, it says 8.59. So let's get in the middle, right? In the middle, three more minutes. Vamos a tiempo extra, three, three minutes. <laughs> Vamos a desempatar ahorita. Vámonos a los penalty. All right. Entonces teníamos what, where, when, and how, right? Y como armamos la pregunta, where can I buy? Where can I get? Okay, usamos los dos verbos. We use two verbs. We use where can I buy and where can I get, right? Where can I buy or where can I get? Here it is. Yeah, si se fijan, I can buy and I can get, right? I can buy, I can get. Esos son los dos verbos más comunes, okay? Más, más comunes para referirnos a comprar, okay? Where can I buy milk in the supermarket, right? Or at the supermarket, it's okay. So where can I get a television? Where can I get a television? Where Walmart. can I, okay, <laughs> you can, uh -huh. you can get a television on Walmart. Yes, and what is Walmart? What is Walmart? What kind of store is that? A supermarket? Yeah, we call it supermarket here, right? Yeah, it's a supermarket because mm, that's the original purpose of these. Uh, but now it's a department store. Yeah, it's a department store now, right? All right, let's remember, acordémonos que podemos tener cosas que las podemos contar. We can count some nouns and we can't count other nouns, all right? En los que sí podemos contar, usamos a, an, or some. Si no sabemos la cantidad exacta, usamos some, ¿ok? Si es uno o una, sería a, or an, ¿ok? Ahora, si yo sé la cantidad exacta, yo digo el número, ¿verdad? The number of things I want to buy. All right? Entonces, yo puedo decir, uh, where can I get a bottle of wine? Right? What, where can I get a bottle of wine? Yeah, boy. Uh, esto es cuando ya llegó usted al lugar, pero vamos a poner ese que acabamos de hacer. Where can I get? Let's see. Where can I get? Miren. Where can I get a, si solo es una botella? Yeah. Or, si es, usted quiere más de una botella, some. Digamos que no sé cuántas voy a comprar. Depende del precio. Entonces digo some bottles. All right. I don't know the eh, amount I'm going to buy. So I say some. More than one. Yeah. More than one. Pero tenemos otros nombres que no los podemos contar. Por ejemplo, si yo hablo solo del vino. Ok. Yo voy a decir. Where can I get wine? Where can I buy wine? All right. Así. Where can I buy or get, right? Buy or get is okay. Mm -hmm. Where can I buy wine? Aquí no uso nada. O oh, puedo usar el cuantificador some. Y si yo digo específicamente el tipo de paquete que yo quiero, por ejemplo, de esos que vienen en caja, ¿verdad? Then I say a bag. I'm sorry, a box. <ríe> Estoy crazy. Si yo quiero de esos que vienen en caja, ¿verdad? Digo a box of wine. ¿Han visto esos que vienen en caja con chorrito, vea? So, a box of wine. It's not only 
bottles. You can use any kind of presentation or pack, packaging of any product. You can use some o cualquier cuantificador. Puede ser un paquete de, una bolsa de, un par de, una caja de, una botella de, um, y así, ¿verdad? Usted puede ir usando un cuantificador para decir, porque puede ser que usted quiere comprar solo de una cosa y va a ir a un lugar donde venden por mayor, ¿verdad? Entonces, usted no quiere comprar por mayor, entonces dice, where can I buy one box of wine, right? Or where can I buy a dozen a boxes of wine, right? It's different, yeah, it's different. Acordémonos que wine es incontable porque es un líquido, ¿verdad? Es un líquido, los líquidos, las sustancias son incontables, non count, all right? Vamos a ver. <clears throat> okay, I think we did it. Okay, les vamos a poner esta en el WhatsApp, ok, y la vamos a realizar mañana. Ustedes pasan pensando, where can you buy a, ok, you look for the name of each product, all right, and then you think about the place where you can get these things, all right, there you go, where can you buy a, mm -hmm. where can you buy a, mm -hmm. where can you buy a, mm -hmm. and where can you buy a, mm -hmm. all right, Got it? Esas se las voy a pasar en el WhatsApp. La vamos a realizar mañana acá. Ok. Y vamos a ver. ¿Qué aprendimos el día de hoy? Lots of things, right? Medicines. Ajá. Uh -huh. And. Ajá. Uh -huh. How do you feel? How do you feel? Ajá. Uh -huh. And the vocabulary today. Places and products and things, or things. things. Yes, places and things. Eso es empezando ya section three. Okay, everybody. It was a pleasure to have this class with you tonight. So please have a very good night and see you tomorrow. See you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night, teacher. Good night. Bye-bye, Norma. See you tomorrow, May. See you tomorrow, God's will. Yes. Bye. Bye-bye.